How's it going guys? So as we've been playing roguelike for the past few days, I think many of us has realized that investment system is actually quite important. And as we all know, as you reach 325 ingots invested, you will unlock this golden chalice, which is like super OP. And then you can add more um, additional items in stock. And then uh, at 200, you can, in theory, it should make the investment system appear in every single shop. And then you can just invest more as you reach 200 invested. But currently there's a bug that won't actually allow you investment system to show up even though you've reached 200 and in theory it should just be there forever but it's still random um i think that is a bug i have reported that from the official discord but anyways as we all know it is very important to you know invest more money so i thought i would share with you guys a um a quicker way of getting reaching that 500 goal that you're going to want to go for um a downside of this way of this strategy is that it is going to be a little bit boring but good thing is that you can pretty much afk the most of it so let us begin so in general there is actually two prerequisites to doing this thing first of all you want to unlock the support squad and then second of all is that ignore this part second of all is that you want to have a mountain at least e1 max because this is what you're going to do you're going to take mountain you're going to take whatever supporter. I'm just going to take Orchid. It doesn't matter. I don't care what you take. Just take whatever trash, take Enzo, or just take nothing. You'll be fine, right? You want to go through the first level. So I'm just going to put down Mountain. Mountain's going to do the majority of the first floor with no problem. You might lose one health or two health here and there, but you'll be fine. Now I'm done with the first stage. As you can see, I lose some HP, whatnot, but... Mountain is most capable of doing most of these with you not completely losing the game. You're going to grab a random operator and you're just going to go forward. So as you finish the first stage, um, if it, it is preferable if you just go through no more combat. But obviously I have to go through a combat here. So we will just go ahead and click through all these stages, extra stages and... Now, here's the second stage done. Obviously, I'm gonna get all these stuff, whatnot. I don't really care. You just click through whatever. You can get a six star, it's up to you. Now you get to the trader. And then yes, this time I'm actually lucky. So I'm gonna just invest. So as you can see, because of the plus 20 initial from the support squad, I actually have 42. You might think that is overkill, but sometimes if you get really lucky, you can invest more than the max I've invested was like 22 or something, but you can absolutely go even higher, like more than 20. So and also sometimes you just might not get the second battle. So obviously it is just better to get support squad and then you can just click through and then invest. And yes, this will happen. But if you're lucky, you can get up to plus 20 each time. So right now, what I would recommend is if you absolutely can bear the boringness of this really boring grind as you you know afk through the stages would just put down mountain and then just afk and then i would recommend you to just stop at 200 and then wait to see if they're going to i mean fix the problem where it's just not coming out permanently but it's just all still random even after 200 invested um that's one way and then you can just keep on playing normally and then just invest bit by bit as you play through that is what I would recommend. Obviously, it is up to you. You can go and be like, okay, I just want to get to 500 ASAP and you can just keep grinding. But either ways, this is probably the easiest way to do it if you want to do it quick. So that's it for th this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.